going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we got a look at what we now know are some PlayStation 5 screenshots and well it seems that the majority of us overlooked this and that this game may actually well and truly be a next gen game as in that what we have right now does not even touch the sides of what we're about to see and of course this just gets more exciting because we know that the PlayStation 5 event is basically literally in like two or three days right so I mean here's for hoping that we're actually going to see some gameplay footage as well of the PlayStation 5 version of this game but nonetheless we got some screenshots that are really really cool and alongside some information as well regarding the PlayStation 5 version. Now if you are new to the channel by clicking that big red subscribe button below you will unlock your good day of the deed and as always if you can maybe kindly just throw over one like that would be nice so thank you in advance. So a quick flashback remember these screenshots? Now, we all thought they were kinda on the basis of how the game we have right now was going to look at launch, more or less, right? Now, bear in mind, this was a next-gen blog, but again, because at that time we hardly had any PlayStation 5 info, let alone in-game screenshots for video games, so that was pretty crazy at that time, and again, we didn't really know where we stood with this game, but these are indeed PlayStation 5 screenshots, and for those of you who don't know, things are going to change drastically and I'm going to go all the way back to June this year. Now firstly, this was reported by the Avengers fan Twitter account that says 56 days and 13 hours remaining until Marvel's Avengers next gen. Now ignore the Xbox Series X as he did actually mean PlayStation 5 screenshots. Now nonetheless, being able to play this game now and experience photo mode etc, there is so much of a huge difference that I truly believe if they release this game on current gen consoles or kinda I feel like for the sake of it right now of course that's not saying that the game is bad at all as it doesn't look bad or right? it looks great because I mean if you want to go into photo mode and so forth right it is actually really really good but considering the amount of trash that the game has had thrown at it in terms of reviews all the way to graphical complaints that's why I said the game we have right now I just feel had to be released for whatever reason and again, almost just kind of like for the sake of it, but it's not actually anywhere near what we are about to basically experience in a nutshell. So firstly, let's take a look at this Hulk screenshot. Now this is a screenshot from the PlayStation 5. Now going back to what actually was PS4 screenshots with the Stark Tech suits, again as you'll see in the background, we had tons of people talking about how Hulk kind of looked a bit off, right? I mean, if you were following the news back then before the game re was released, you'll know exactly the whole big fuss that was kicked up and, you know, people's small complaints and so forth, right? But that's basically what happened in a nutshell. But now you've played the game, okay? Just look at the texture difference. I mean, this is insane, right? This isn't even a slight difference we're talking about. We're talking about a huge difference because it actually seems like the weather will also affect character visuals because if we go back to the full screenshot as you can see here his hair is wet alongside his outfit and I mean the visual distance as well is significantly increased now it does look like cars are moving on roads but I mean obviously we now know that cars are essentially going to be stationary but things just look a bit more busy but again I just think it's a lighting thing and things essentially look more alive now what's really really interesting is me just pointing out small details like you know hair being affected by weather conditions I know it might sound crazy in that I'm looking way too much into this but again playing the game now right and experiencing what we have right now both just gameplay and actually messing about in photo mode this is nowhere near what we have right now this actually looks really really crazy now going back to the interview that was in june it was from crystal dynamics chief technology office who goes by the name gary okay and he basically explained that sony's new console and i quote greatly lifts the performance and graphics bar for consoles and he continued to say that the new GPU allows us to increase our texture resolution 
push a higher level of detail further from the player, enhance our ambient occlusion, improve our anistrophic filtering, and add a new variety of new graphic features such as stochastic screen space reflections with contact aware sharpening. Without any optimization work, the loading and streaming of Marvel's Avengers improved by an order of magnitude on PlayStation 5. When optimization is complete, loading content will be nearly instant, allowing players to seamlessly jump into missions anywhere in the game world, and as Iron Man flies through content-rich levels, higher resolution textures and mesh will stream in instantly, maintaining the highest possible quality all the way to the horizon. So now again, playing the game we have right now versus hearing about the next gen game, I'm hoping you can kind of see what I'm saying here, right? And what I mean with the whole, this is more of a next gen game than it is current, right? And I feel most of the bugs were due to graphical issues, if I'm being completely honest, or explosions. And I say that because if you've ever played Just Cause 4, and if you've been following the channel for a while, I know you've probably played that game, right? But you'll completely get what I mean by this comment, and that is that that game had a lot of chaos going on in one scene, right? And it basically struggled to handle it at first. So that's essentially what I feel has gone down with this game. But even pointing out the basic things that we're having problems with right now, load times are essentially well, relatively long, right? So, I mean, just that first point being thrown out there that loading times are already going to be instant it kind of goes back to my comment on saying that the game we have right now is great but just looking at textures like when it comes down to Hulk versus hearing this and seeing these screenshots because again I don't know if this is taken from photo mode but I'm just gonna assume it is and I mean there's so much different details like ray tracing is gonna be a big thing we already know that insomniac games are talking about that a lot with spider-man Mars Morales so I definitely think that of course we're gonna see a lot of that stuff with the Avengers game but again just taking a look at sparks flying off robots right for example with the Iron Man screenshots seeing these months ago versus seeing them now I mean it just completely feels different and again it's just more exciting because because we know that the PlayStation event is literally like two days away and here's to hoping that we're gonna see some type of snippet for this Marvel's Avengers game considering the whole PlayStation exclusive relationship that of course Crystal Dynamics do have with Sony but of course we do know that their main spotlight is definitely going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales but I mean taking into consideration the amount of complaints that we're getting now for the game I honestly think these are drastically going to be switched up when this game releases on PlayStation 5 and if anything it's probably going to get a lot of more people play the game purchase the game you name it right I mean you have to purchase the game to play the game but you know what I mean, right? It's definitely going to see a boost of some kind and people's opinions are going to switch completely and I guess here's to the game having a good long run and especially considering we're going to have Spider-Man which again was rumored to be March you can essentially just forget how that's going to look on current gen consoles because it seems like they're going to shift all their focus to the next gen consoles but again you guys leave your thoughts on that stuff in the comments below can you genuinely see a difference or do you think we are looking way too much into this and do you agree when I say this game is more of a next gen game than it is current be completely honest let me know in the comments below and that's going to wrap up this video here so check out the one that I uploaded earlier today because it seems something strange is going on as well with this game and hey subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already but I'll see you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos